Hello everyone, this is Argon Matrix, welcome to episode 19 of Super Mario RPG. Okay, so, uh, yep. Yeah. Um, uh, first thing off the bat I should say, that I am sick right now a little bit, so forgive me if my voice sounds a little bit funny or something, but I think I'm fit to record still, so, yeah. And now, you're probably wondering, why the hell are we in Moleville now? Weren't we, like, at the top booster tower last time, or, like, halfway up, or whatever? Yes, we were, but... I figured that I need to get more into shape for this game because there there are so many secrets that you can find in this game and I passed up quite a few of them. So I think I'm going to spend this episode going back and finding some of those secrets that I missed out on. Alright, I have done my research for this video so it won't just be wandering it won't just be me wandering around randomly. Uh, I actually have a plan and stuff so yeah. So first thing we're going to want to do is go here to Moleville and uh there's those moles still panicking, whatever. But I believe that if you head out here, um, where is it? I know there's like some guys around here somewhere. Where are they? I'm looking for some, uh, like some moles or something. Maybe they're not here, I don't know. They should be here though. Um, okay, now I've just come full circle, that's great. Okay, so, ah, uh, I'm getting lost right off the bat here. I told you I have a plan, and I do, but it starts with finding these guys, and I can't seem to find them. Maybe they're, oh, there they are, sweet. Alright, so, you want to talk to these guys, and they'll be like, they'll start singing a song, I think. Wait, first, Mario, I owe you one for saving my kids. Uh, what's that, you want to hear the Moleville Blues? Yes, here we go, okay. Well, alright, digging deep in the mines. Don't get much sun. I'm covered with soil till my work day is done. I really hate sitting in its labor. I choose cause then it's the time to do them old Moleville blues. Alright. Now, so that was just me singing for you. It was kind of bad singing, but whatever. Alright, so I'm going to go over this again, and pay close attention. Here, right here. See the see that in quotations? Me, or my, or whatever. That is something that you want to remember. Me, me, do, so, do, re, la. Me, do, so, do, re, la, ti, do. Yeah, okay. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go over that one more time so I make sure I get it right. Mi do so do la no wait, re la ti do. Yeah. Okay. So that should be good. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, actually I don't know if I should cut there or not. It's not too hard to get out of the mine, so I guess I'll just leave it in for now. But basically, what you want that for, and I'm sorry I kind of sounded confused there, I was actually looking at something to make sure I had that down right. And it is, uh, that is a song for, uh, Toad Off Ski, or Toad of Sky, or whatever you want to call him, I don't care. <laughs> but you remember him? He was, like, way back in Tadpole Pond, I think. And he wanted some music, and I tried to give him some, but since I was stupid back then, so stupid, I epically failed at giving him his, the song that he wanted. So, um, first of all, yes, we're back here with this incredibly annoying music, which is still kind of awesome. There's this guy. He told us a song, too. And it is, uh, for Fuchsia's Suite number 18. I wonder what the first 17 are. You never find out. Alright, so la, mi, re, do, re, do, re. Alright, now I actually know the order of the notes that, like, I know which note is which here, so I'm just gonna go ahead. Alright, um... From the top to the from top to bottom, like the top to the bottom spot here, the thing goes mi re do ti la so fa. So, uh, let me just oh god, what was that? What was that freaking thing again? Um, I'm trying to remember the song. So so la so la mi re. Do, that's it. Okay, thank you. Okay, so la mi re do re do. Okay, so. I'm gonna go for the second bottom one. Uh, I tried to jump there, but I failed. Okay, so right there. So so, and la, 
Me is the top one. Okay. Me. And then Ray is the second one down. So, right there. And then Doe is the third one down. And then Ray again. Oh, I missed it. I missed my chance. Gosh, darn it. And Doe. Oh, come on. I jumped there. Totally. Doe and... No. Oh, shit, no. Oh, my God. I just screwed that up royally. Yeah. I very nearly had that. Is that something you composed? Now that is amazingly close to my dream composition. Yeah, it's one note off, and now, yeah, bobble your head, what the hell. Okay, so that was annoying, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do it again, but I'm gonna cut it out, since we're already f six minutes? Oh my god, that's six minutes past? I've done nothing, okay. Ah, uh, this isn't gonna be, like, episode 19 of Majora's Mask all over again. We're gonna actually do something, but I'm gonna cut this out so you don't have to watch me fail again. Alright, here we go. Alright, there we go, I think that's it. Um, let's see. Does this sound right? That sounds about right. And he's gonna go crazy, he's gonna go bonkers. Oh my god, that's it! It's the melody I've been looking for. Thank you for the inspiration. Please take this as a token of my gratitude. And we get the alto card. And if I ever need help with my compositions again, I'll look for you here. Until then, adieu. Why will you look for me here? Because I'm usually anywhere but here because this place is annoying. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah. Oh, and by the way, I don't want to apologize in advance if my commentary in this episode is not up to standard because I'm trying to be more informative in this episode than anything, so I'm not going to be, like, funny or anything. Not that I'm normally funny. I'm not, I'm not, like, extremely hilarious, hysterical or anything. Okay, uh, alto card holder. What would you like? Yes, so here, now, instead of just buying, being able to buy a froggy drink, we can actually buy an elixir, too. An elixir is a pretty good item. Uh, let's see, it recovers 80 HP for the entire party, so that's very good. But, let's go ahead and give him that other song. You remember the one we learned back in Moleville? The one we started this video with? Let's give that to him. Let, or let's show that to him. Alright, so, what was it again? Uh, I have it written down here, actually, so don't think I just have, like, an epically powerful memory, even though I kind of do. I, I'm not good at remembering, like, two songs like that in a row. Okay, so, Mi, Do, So, Do, Re, La, Ti, Do. Okay, so mi do mi do so do re la ti do. Okay, so mi do so do. That's it. Okay, so do so do. Um, what was it again? Re la ti do. That's it. Okay, re and la is right there. T is one up from that. And then do. Do, do, do! Do! Oh, that was cool. I like that. It's like do, 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 or whatever. That's it! And this is the other one that he's been looking for, apparently. This is the second of three songs and the second of three cards that you will get, the tenor card. Yes, there's been the alto card, the tenor card, and if you know anything about music, then you should know what the last one's going to be. And uh, since it's not really a spoiler, I'll just say it's the soprano card. There's like three things of music that go together. They're like tenor, alto, soprano, whatever. Oh, look that up on your own time. I haven't been bothered with it. A tenor card holder. And this adds the mega elixir to our item supply here. Yes, uh, they got creative with this name. Instead of just calling it Mega Elixir, they called it Mega Elixir. Uh, like the Mega Smilax. We'll be facing him later in the LP. And spoilers! Shut up, dude! No. God, I'm so stupid. Okay, party recovers 150 HP. That's a very good item for our point in the game, especially. Alright, um, so that's those are the two songs that we have for him. We'll come back with him well, with one more later in the game. So we're not done there yet. Um, there's one thing I missed here in Rose Town that I need to pick up, or that I'd like to pick up anyways. Uh, it's up in this house. You come up here, go up to this place, um, and on this bed, there is a hidden chest there. It contains a frog coin. That's about all I missed in Rose Town. Um, I'm pretty sure I actually missed a few treasure, treasure chests in the forest maze too. 
well, the Force Maze, not Force Maze 2, but you get the idea. But, um, those are just, like, so annoying. I don't want to go through that place again, even though the music is fantastic. I just don't want to go through there again, because, I don't know. Most of the items that I missed but there aren't, aren't that good anyways. Alright, so, um, now we're going to head down to Yoster Isle. Yoster Isle. Alright, um, uh, there's a little secret here. I want to check this. Oh, if there's nothing inside. Damn it, I guess I missed it. Unless it's in this one. Let's just, let's see. There's a letter inside. Care to read it? Uh, sure. Let's just be a peeping Tom and take someone's mail. Yeah, that's great. Honeymoon re reservations for two mushroom travel agency. Hmm. Honeymoon re reservations, eh? That's interesting. Uh, I'll get you someday, Boshi. Don't worry about it. I'm going to come back for you. But for now, we're going to head up here and get this item box that I missed. Uh, it should be... Actually, can I go, like, around the back here? There we go. That's it. Frog coin. Booyah. Frog coins are very useful, especially later in the game when you can, like, actually buy stuff with them, you know? Because right now, there's kind of collect collectibles, but, yeah. Alright, so that's what I missed there. Um, did I miss... I don't think I missed anything in Moleville. Um, we opened up something in Booster Pass, if you remember... Like, I think it was the last video, actually. We had a switch here, or a switch in Booster Tower. That should open a cave somewhere around here, I think. Yeah, right here. Okay, so you head into this cave, and... <gasps> What's this? There's, like, random enemies and stuff, like spikies that you can jump over. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! You can fall off of that? Whoa, that was crazy. I didn't realize you could actually, like, fall off there. Damn, I thought there would be, like, an invisible barrier. That took me by surprise. Oh, God, no. Alright, I just cut that out, because there's really nothing we have... Whoa, what the... Nothing we haven't seen there before. Golly, you're that famous Mario guy. If I beat you, they'll make me sniff at number four. If I'm lucky. Alright, so I guess this is kind of a mini-boss. It's just, like, a normal enemy, really. And I, I'll, I'll just leave it in, because... Uh, if I... If he lives through Mario's mash or attack, let's see... No, he didn't. I was going to show off the action command for Bowser's thing, like, for his, uh, chomp, his new weapon, because I don't think I've showed that off yet. What? Now they'll make, now they'll make me take the training course all over again. And he goes crazy running right through me at the speed of sound. Great. Oh, God. Okay, so that was another very easy battle with enemies that we encounter, like, really early in the game. But if we make it to the end here, you will see that there are three treasure boxes. This one contains a Kira Kira Cola, and we have to throw something out for that. Uh, honey syrup, go away, I don't like you. There's also a frog coin and a flower, that's nice. So that's definitely worth the trip here. Because you get a really good item, or like a really good recovery item, and um, frog coin, flower. It's been a good day. Alright, now this episode's almost up. But I think I can make it in time to show you w the one treasure box that I missed in Booster Tower. And there's actually, like, a few hidden boxes, but I have only, like, passed one of them. I haven't passed the other ones yet. They're still higher up in the tower. The one that I missed is actually right here. Frog coin. Great. How many frog coins does that make anyways? Let's check. Fifteen. Not too bad. I could get a lot more. And, uh, there's nothing I missed back here that we already fought the last sniffit. Uh, oh, by the way, the train that Booster was on, it turns out it's not called the Booster Express like I thought, because I'm an asshole, but it's actually called the Loco Express, I think, I might be wrong about that, oh, okay, well, you know, I'll just leave this in, so, we can show off Bowser's new weapon here, the Chomp, you know, Chomp, 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 right, but we gotta hurry up, because there's a minute left, that's great, alright, here we go. The chomp, and basically the action command for this is once the chomp makes contact with the enemy, that's when you press the A button again. And then it starts chomping, it's like biting his face off. It's like, roar, get your face out of my place. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm crazy. I'm a crazy person. Alright, let's see if we can make it back up to the place that we saw the previous video at. Can we do it? Can we do it? Yeah, avoid these guys, like, oh, come on. Thank you. Just avoid these guys like a champ, like a pro champ. Oh god. Oh no. Well, you know what? Uh. Oh wait, wait. Can I defeat this guy? Please, please, please. Thank you. Now run, run, Mario, for the love of God, run. 
We've got 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Come on. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. We made it! Yes, okay. Uh, well, that didn't really accomplish anything, except it fulfilled my pride. I don't think that's the right word for that, but okay. So, this was a nice little secret collecting episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Even though I didn't, really. Nah. But thank you, everyone, for watching. Until next time, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you, and good night.